the classic case of an object falling through a fluid is that of a skydiver falling through air. And so let's do each of these stages of a skydiver's jump and let's, let's match the force arrows that are given here to each diagram. So at first the skydiver has just jumped out. She's not really falling very fast. If In fact, probably has only just jumped out, then she's not moving at all. She's accelerating downwards. And so the first force that we've got to put on this is the weight force of the skydiver. And that's the only force that's acting. So there is a, an unbalanced force here and the skydiver will be accelerating. And as they accelerate, they'll be bumping into air molecules and they will experience a air resistance or a drag force and that drag force will be going upwards. So first of all though the the skydiver's weight does not change, that's the force acting downwards. They haven't gone on a diet or lost weight unless they're really scared of uh, this skydive but uh, it'll be the same weight and so the as, as they get faster and faster, the upwards drag force will grow until it reaches the same size as the downwards weight. And in that point, they will be balanced, balanced forces. There is no resultant force at this point. And so they have reached a constant speed. There's no acceleration. And we call this the terminal velocity. So that's the first terminal velocity of the skydiver. Then the skydiver deploys the parachute. And when they deploy the parachute, suddenly there's a much bigger surface area and a much larger upwards drag force because they're moving very quickly downwards. And so what we get is, first of all, we get a uh, the weight force, which hasn't changed, and this much bigger upwards drag force. And note, there is an imbalance of forces here an imbalance and that means that there is a resultant force which one wins this one wins and the winning force means that the skydiver will now decelerate and as they decelerate this drag force will decrease in size until you guessed it it matches the weight force and this is their second terminal velocity of the skydiver and the second terminal velocity the weight is the same and that drag has reduced until it balances. And it's terminal velocity, it means it's a constant speed.